G'day, welcome to episode 10 of GMB Nomads in the Horizon. In this episode, we travel from Litchfield National Park all the way down to Mount Isa. We visit heaps of great places, including Berry Springs, Edith Falls, Daly Waters, Cape Crawford, Barclay Homestead, and Mount Isa. Let's get cracking. Good morning. It's Sunday, 22nd August, 2021. We are out of Litchfield. National Parks. So our next stop is Berry Springs. So this is Berry Springs. Down there leads to the main pool. This is Berry Springs main pool. Oh. It's the 23rd of August, Monday. We're making our way down to Edith Falls swimming area. We're in the water at Edith Falls. There's a waterfall over there. Okay, we're just sitting under the rocks at the moment, under the cliff. Just looking back at the uh, pool. And just to the right of us is the falls. Okay, so we're heading under the, under the falls now, as close as we can get without losing our hat. Thanks, Lonnie. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So Ranji just swam all the way over there and back again with a trusty oh. noodle. Oh, it must must be must be 250 meters each way. Next time I want to swim with Raga. Yep. Yeah. So Raga, if next time you're coming up here, we'll bring you up and and dear and yeah, and Boo <laughs> and the kids. Chris, Nadine and Pritt. Bitter Springs, we made our way from Eater Falls today down to Bitter Springs. Um, we're going into this thermal pool, so. We're spring hopping. Okay, Rangina. What do you think of this? I thought we arrived at it. You could be very lazy here, couldn't you? We would intended to do more than. So I guess we get out there and walk back up the other end and hop back in again if we want to. <laughs> okay, we're at the Daly Waters Hotel. Campground. Ten dollars a night per person for unpowered and fourteen for powered. And part of that, but across the road here there's <laughs> stuff everywhere. So we're just going and I believe it's all is all owned by Darling Waters Hotel. We're just gonna have a look around. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> well you're gonna have a drink out of the <laughs> out of the bottle. Yeah, there we go. It's the pub. Darling Waters Hotel. First pub in Northern Territory. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I love you, they all follow you. Yeah, hi doggy. Yeah. Hello. Wow. Wait for me. Oh, we're coming back. Wait for me. Here's Polly the horse going into the bar. Hey, you getting on, all right? Oh, good mate. Yourself? Good, Looks like you're enjoying life. Yeah. I'd like to welcome you all. Um, started off a bit of a windy day, but she's turned out all right. Had a bit of rain in Catherine. Anyway, enough of that. This is Polly. Morning, folks. Today we're heading to Cape Rock. It's about 250 kilometres from where we stayed last night, which was the Daly Waters Hotel. We had a good 
guy at the Daly Waters Hotel was fantastic. They had a guy singing all sorts of songs, including Elvis Presley. Um, Daly Waters Hotel is, is somewhere you have to go to just to see it. It's, it's really strange and weird, and everything that's in there is really interesting. Um, so it just says, suggest you spend a the night there, or at least go there and have a beer. Oh, it's a single lane again. Yeah. But it just goes on and on and on. Hang 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 Crawford Heartbreak Hotel campsite. It's the 26th, Thursday the 26th of August. It's located near Borolula. Today we're going for a bit of a walk. And there's a next door's neighbour's dog. So we're at the start of the uh, Karen Barini waterhole. Just going to go up to the waterhole and have a look. I was look at 300 metres. So anyway, a few little walks around here. First one we're going to do is the um, the waterhole, and then we'll do the Barawala walk. So this is the Karen Barini waterhole. Down there you can see a few little ducks. Heaps of water lilies. So, continuing on through here, just about every corner you turn there's a, another spectacular view it's um really impressive so if you come out this way towards Borolula it's worth well worth stopping in and doing the walk in fact it's probably worth coming out here just to do the walk I think so, it's this way, but... Is it? Okay. I'll come around the other way. I couldn't, it was blocked. Beautiful and cool in here. What a yeah. Hotel on the right, beautiful hotel. Cape um, Crawford had gone us 25. There wasn't a great deal to see in Borolula, but one of the reasons we went there was to see what the road from Borolula to Burke Town would be like. <laughs> 
and it wasn't in good shape so we decided to head back to Cape Crawford. It's 27th of August 2021. We're saying goodbye to the heartbreak culture here in Cape Crawford. Goodbye Cape Crawford. We are on our way to um, to the border crossing of Queensland now. Okay, as we uh, say goodbye to Heartbreak Hotel at Cape Crawford, we're heading now down to Barclay Homestead. It's about a 380 kilometre drive. Just looking at the road conditions, it's all open, so we're here we come. Once we get to Barkley Homestead, we might stay there the night, depending on what time we get there. Um, oh, what, single lane again? Yeah. But it just goes on and on and on. The Horizon is parked out the front of the Barclay Homestead. The homestead is situated on the Barclay Highway and sits about 220 kilometres from Camelwheel in Queensland and 260 kilometres to Tennant Creek on Stewart Highway in Northern Territory. So it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's the All right, we are now crossing the NT Queensland border, getting into Queensland. Yay! Done it. So Victoria, then South Australia, then NT, now Queensland. Camberwell is situated 170 kilometres west of uh, Mount Isa and it's just near the Northern Territory border and is on the Barclay uh, Highway. Camberwell has a population of 208 people so there's not a great deal in town. It's more of a stop off point for travellers and road trains. We arrive in the eyes of that afternoon and stayed in the Sunset Tourist Park. This is a view of Mount Isa from the lookout. You can see the Mount Isa mine in the background. Mount Isa mine is one of the most productive mines in world history, based on a combined production of lead, silver, copper and zinc. Lake Moondara. Just out of Mount Isa. A couple of guys kayaking down there. Yeah. That concludes this episode. Join us soon when we head up to the Gulf Country and visit Gregory Downs, Normanton and Corumba 